Traveling through the depths of time, we embark on a mesmerizing journey through Earth's history, where eons come alive and evolution unfolds before our eyes. Our expedition takes us back over four billion years ago to the fiery crucible of the Archean Eon. In this primordial era, Earth was a seething cauldron of volcanic activity with scorching temperatures and a turbulent atmosphere. Amidst this tumultuous landscape, life emerged in the form of microscopic organisms. These resilient beings, driven by the energy emanating from submarine volcanic vents and the abundant minerals, constructed intricate microbial colonies deep within the ocean's depths. Layered metropolises of microbial life thrived in these early oceanic realms, with different castes of organisms utilizing successive byproducts from their metabolisms. However, their colonization was confined to a few isolated pockets, as the rest of the planet remained barren and inhospitable. But as the wheels of time turned, a revolution in microbial metabolism transformed the course of history. Certain pigment molecules, a stroke of evolutionary brilliance, enabled microbes to harness the radiant energy of the sun. This revolutionary leap birthed photosynthesis, forever altering the trajectory of life on Earth. These innovative life forms turned their gaze to the abundant carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and the water in the oceans. They concocted a masterful metabolic dance, utilizing sunlight to split carbon dioxide and water molecules. Through this alchemical process, energy-storing sugars were synthesized, with oxygen as the exhaled byproduct. The advent of photosynthesis, estimated to have originated around 2.7 billion years ago, marked a monumental milestone. Though fossils resembling photosynthetic microbes have been discovered in earlier strata, the geological evidence for large-scale oxygen production only appears during the Proterozoic Eon. The rise of photosynthetic metabolisms fundamentally altered the planet, transforming the types of rocks formed and leaving an indelible mark on Earth's story. However, this newfound oxygen proved to be a double-edged sword. While it was essential for the survival of many life forms, it became toxic to others, stifling and suffocating entire ecosystems. The early years of photosynthesis were marked by stop-start pulsations, causing vast global extinction events as ecosystems struggled to adapt to the shifting tides of oxygen availability. As our journey through time continues, we find ourselves standing on the cusp of a turning point in Earth's history. The percentage of oxygen in the atmosphere lingers around 4%, a signal that photosynthesis has arrived on the scene and begun its transformative work. Yet this level of oxygen is insufficient for sustaining human life. As we peer out of the time machine's window, we are greeted by a world veiled in a pristine blanket of ice and snow. The traveler's eyes are captivated by the breathtaking landscapes before them. Landforms stretch across the horizon, from foothills rising to majestic mountains in the distance, to a vast expanse that could be an ocean, frozen solid. Everywhere the eye wanders, the landscape is cloaked in white, with occasional rocky bluffs jutting out from beneath the icy veneer. Ice crystals start to form along the edges of the time machine's window, a stark reminder of the frigid conditions that have enveloped the planet. This near-global glaciation, known as the Huronian glaciation, has gripped Earth for an astonishing 300 million years. The balmy tropical waters that once beckoned are now distant memories as the icy grip of this frozen world holds sway. Undeterred by the icy chill and the inhospitable conditions, our time-traveling adventurer realizes they must press forward. The quest for breathable air, tolerable temperatures, clean water, nourishing food, and protective shelter has brought them this far. They have witnessed the genesis of photosynthesis, the rise and fall of ancient ecosystems, and the formation of icy landscapes. Yet, the journey is far from over. Loving the video or learning something new? Smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content you won't want to miss. With a renewed sense of determination, the traveler takes control of the temporal expanse, steering it manually toward new temporal frontiers. The days blur into nights, the sun streaks across the sky, and seasons unfold in rapid succession. Millennia tick by, with minimal change, until a shift occurs around 2.2 billion years ago. Colors return to the world, as the traveler watches the landscape morph before their eyes. The once white expanse gives way to a red-tinged terrain, with mountains rising and weathering away, shaping the evolving landscape. 
The oxygen levels, however, remain stubbornly fixed at 4%. The journey through time brings us to an era that has earned the moniker the Boring Billion. For a billion years, from 1.8 to 0.8 billion years ago, the world remains remarkably stagnant. The undulating landscape shifts subtly, shorelines ebb and flow, but little else changes. Seas take on a blackish-purple hue, lacking oxygen, and emanating a faint whiff of rotten eggs. It is a desolate period, with few signs of life and a persistent atmosphere of hydrogen sulfide, a toxic presence that permeates the coastal air. With a determined push forward, the lever reaches its furthest extent, propelling us into the Neoproterozoic. The modern landscape of northwestern Scotland becomes a reminiscent backdrop, evoking the scenes from billions of years earlier. The shorelines, adorned with rocky outcrops, gently slope into lapping waters. The traveler scrapes back living algae to reveal ancient rock beneath, etched with the imprints of algae mats that colonized the shores a billion years ago. The presence of green-tinged algae, visible to the naked eye, signals a significant shift. Photosynthetic organisms now thrive in the oceans, their sheer abundance impossible to miss. Frothy green microbes cling together, buoyed by trapped air, as the receding tide leaves a scum on the shore. Atmospheric readings confirm the long-awaited rise in oxygen concentration, a momentous achievement after enduring billions of years of frustration. At around 750 million years ago, oxygen levels hover just below 20%, a threshold that finally allows the traveler to breathe the ancient air. With a mixture of exhilaration and caution, they venture beyond the time machine's confines. The atmosphere greets them with a gentle caress, carrying the faint aromas of salt and decay. Taking in deep breaths, they relish the sensation of stepping into this ancient air, which feels like arriving on a tropical island. The humidity envelops them, and the warmth soothes their senses. However, they quickly become aware of a lightheadedness, a reminder of the oxygen deficiency that still lingers. A faint trace of nitrous oxide or laughing gas adds an unexpected element to the air, a consequence of the complex nitrogen chemistry facilitated by the newfound oxygen. Curiosity guides the traveler to the shoreline, where they probe the slimy organic matter, scooping it up in their hands. The cool, slimy texture reveals a spectrum of hues and textures. Fibrous green filaments, froth, and rubbery red-tinged structures resembling seaweed. Despite their resemblance to modern counterparts, these primitive algae offer little nutrition and are indigestible to the modern human stomach. Disheartened by the lack of sustenance, the traveler reluctantly returns to the time machine, reminiscing about the tale of Ada Blackjack, a survivor left alone on a desolate island. The traveler finds solace in the knowledge that survival is not only about finding food, but also about finding shelter, and they set their sights on continuing their quest. As the time machine hurtles through the eons, the traveler contemplates the fundamental requirements for survival. They ponder the absolute basics, breathable air, tolerable temperatures, clean water, nourishing food, and protective shelter. These pillars of survival have shaped the trajectory of life on Earth, demanding adaptation and ingenuity at every turn. The journey continues, propelling us forward through the second half of the Neoproterozoic, where vibrant landscapes oscillate between temperate coastlines and glacial worlds. Global glaciations dominate, but pockets of life persist in warm refuges near the equator and volcanic hotspots. Life rebounds with resilience as warming temperatures beckon. The time machine slows to a stop, marking our arrival at the Ediacaran period, an era that was only recognized as its own distinct phase in 2004. The traveler steps out, enthralled by the warm, tropical environment and the tantalizingly close oxygen levels. They make their way to the shallows, hoping to catch a glimpse of the enigmatic Ediacaran biota, the first macroscopic life forms on Earth. As they wade into the water, the traveler is greeted by a spectacle of strange, otherworldly creatures. Flattened Dickinsonia drifts along the sandy seabed, while Sprigina flaps like ribbons in the waves. Shield-shaped Parvencarina and the ruffling waves coexist in a mesmerizing dance. These organisms seem oblivious to the traveler's presence, engrossed in their own existence. Intrigued by the abundance of these peculiar creatures, the traveler's mind turns to sustenance, 
They contemplate the prospect of consuming these long extinct organisms, but the rarity and significance of their existence leave a bitter taste in their mouth. They refuse to be complicit in the extinction of these remarkable beings. Food and shelter, they decide, must be sought elsewhere. The paleontologists' fingers grip the time machine's controls with renewed determination. They navigate the temporal expanse, hurtling through time once more. Millennia fold into centuries, centuries into decades, until they arrive at the threshold of the Devonian period, approximately 400 million years ago. The landscape transforms yet again, unveiling a lush world of forests and plains. The traveler finds themselves amidst a verdant tapestry, where towering trees and diverse vegetation cast a green-hued glow. The once barren land surfaces have transformed into fertile soil, nourished by the roots of countless plants. The traveler walks among the dense forest, feeling the soothing shade and inhaling the scent of the vibrant ecosystem. Amidst the towering trees, they realize that these majestic organisms not only provide shelter, but also offer tools for survival. Branches are fashioned into sharpened spears, capable of securing the daily catch. The traveler embraces the ultimate wilderness adventure, honing their hunting skills and relishing the abundance of the carboniferous world. However, the traveler acknowledges that sustenance goes beyond mere hunting. The towering gymnosperms, though impressive in size and variety, offer little nutritional value. The traveler yearns for a balanced diet that nourishes body and mind. They long for the carbohydrates found in grains and vegetables, and the proteins derived from pulses and animal flesh. Driven by this quest for a well-rounded diet, the traveler once again propels the time machine forward. The landscape morphs, continents shift, and the clock of time ticks relentlessly. The journey transports us to the closing chapters of the Mesozoic era, where dinosaurs reign supreme and ancient ecosystems teem with life. Standing on the threshold of the late Cretaceous, approximately 120 million years ago, the traveler is captivated by the diverse landscapes dotted with herds of dinosaurs. Primitive birds flit between the trees, while diminutive mammals scurry amidst the undergrowth. The traveler's focus turns to a raven-sized bird called Jehulornis, its fossils surrounded by scattered seeds. The realization dawns that this avian creature was not solely reliant on seeds, but had evolved to consume soft fruits. The seeds were merely indigestible remnants, while the nutritious fruiting structures were the key to their sustenance. This revelation signifies the rise of fruit-eating birds, an integral part of the evolving food chain. The traveler ponders the transformative power of angiosperms, flowering plants that appeared in the fossil record around 140 million years ago. These remarkable plants encase their seeds in fleshy ovaries, offering a bounty of nourishment. The traveler recognizes that it is the angiosperms, with their delectable fruits and carbohydrate-rich modifications, that provide the ideal sustenance for humans. With a sense of awe and fulfillment, the traveler comprehends that they have arrived at a pivotal moment. They have journeyed through four billion years of Earth's history, from the tumultuous Archean Eon to the vibrant ecosystems of the Mesozoic. They have witnessed the emergence of photosynthesis, the struggle for breathable air, the quest for nourishment, and the longing for shelter. The time machine sits silent and idle, its mission complete. The traveler, no longer just a paleontologist or an adventurer, is now a settler in this ancient paradise. With the knowledge acquired through their extraordinary odyssey, they are prepared to embrace this newfound world and all its challenges. They stand ready to survive and endure in the splendor of Earth's captivating history, forever grateful for the opportunity to witness the evolution of life itself. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content about science and the universe. Thanks for watching.